Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Icon Conflict Gloves available at Revzilla.com. So if you are familiar with the wild and wacky world of Icon, you know them for their crazy graphics and their unique branding sense. And we're seeing a little bit of that carried over with the Conflict Gloves with these extremely aggressive knuckles that you're gonna have in the back of the hand, but we're also seeing extremely high quality materials. This is gonna be a full goat skin leather glove coming in around the $65 price point. So where a lot of other manufacturers were seeing us not be able to break into full leather construction until around the maybe $100 price point, Icon is bringing that down to a much more affordable glove for a bang for your buck offering with something like the Conflicts. Now with the Conflicts, think, think uh, two season warm weather riding. This is gonna be something you would wear throughout the late spring, throughout the summer, and then into the fall months before it starts to get a little bit cold. There's no liner with this, but it's gonna be a very comfortable sport option for you in their line of gloves. Now sizing is gonna be typical Icon. That's gonna be an American size glove, and I am typically an extra large across the board from Icon. No surprises here. I'm gonna be an extra large in the conflicts as well. Sizes will range from a small up to a 4XL. So if you have larger hands, this is gonna be an option for you to consider. And one of the things that I like about this is that the fingers are a little bit longer. So if you are an individual that has longer, thinner fingers, the conflicts are probably gonna work quite nicely for you. Now there's five different colors to choose from, and I am wearing the black and white option. If you are looking at where this fits in Icon's lineup, this is again gonna come around that $65 price point, which it puts it above the Anthem 2s, but slightly below the, uh, the Overlord Resistance gloves. Now the Overlord Resistance, what you get with that is you get a floating knuckle, and you get a much more complex material scheme, and this is gonna be a little bit more of a simpler approach with something like the Conflicts. So let's go ahead and we'll break this down right now. So we talk about the fact that you have full goat throughout the glove. At the wrist, you are gonna have a comfort addition to that. You are gonna have neoprene mixed with a little bit of clarino at the back. And what this does is it adds a little bit of flex to the back of the hand. So while you don't have the floating knuckles where the goat skin leather comes into play, you do get a little bit of stretch from that neoprene at the back. When we talk about the knuckles, it is a split knuckle design, and this is gonna be a carbon fiber with a rubberized TPR on top of that. So where carbon fiber is typically very hard to the touch, this has a rubberized, almost a squishy feel. As we work our way to the back of the hand, you are gonna see that carbon fiber continue on the back of the fingers, and then at each of the fingers, you are gonna have a split at the knuckles for a better range of motion. Now some manufacturers will see them do accordion stretch at the back, which adds a little bit of complexity, which adds to price. What Icon has done for the same, uh, for the same effect is they've split the knuckles, single stitched along the back, and that just adds for a range of motion when you're using those fingers to articulate your brake and your clutch lever. Full goat skin carries throughout. As we look down the palm, there's no reinforcement of the palm, so there's no padding to the palm on this. I would have loved to have seen maybe just a small little palm slider or something thrown in, but again, for around that $65 price point, it's hard to complain about that. The one real nitpick that I did have here is there's no touchscreen fingertips at the index finger and the thumb, and this is something that we have seen Icon do with the, uh, the Anthem 2s. And remember, the Anthem 2s are that, uh, that $45 option from Icon, so you know, if they can do it for the more affordable option, I would have loved to have seen them carry this over for the conflicts as well, because so many of us now are using smartphones or GPSs, it would have been nice to have that as a feature set. As we work our way down through the full goatskin palm, the one thing you'll note here for the closure, the real step up you're gonna see over the Anthem 2s from a closure standpoint is the Anthem 2s were simply a pull-on glove. What you get now is a much more secure closure, TPR rubberized pull, and the glove fits on, you know, I was gonna say like a glove, but that just sounds a little bit cheesy. But it just gives you a much more secure fit than a pull-on glove like we're seeing with the Anthem 2. So you do get a nice step up when you are looking at that price bump from the $45 price point up to the $65 price point. So for those of you out there that are considering the Conflict gloves, this is gonna be an option for you to consider for, again, that lightweight two-season summer sports style riding. And there's a huge amount of riders out there already utilizing Icon products. So if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting Icon gear through its paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to which pair of gloves is right for you, your bike, and your style of riding, give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot us an email, cs at ribzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Icon Conflict Gloves. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.